Hi there, once again welcome back to my channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, I'm going to walk you through how to create an organizational chart or organogram. Okay, so there's a chart I have and then you can easily order this chart how you want it to be. You can easily reposition this chart and you can just select, hit the tab key and then change the order of the entire look of your chart. So I'm going to walk you through how to create this in a bit. So if this is something, so if you like this, remember to like, share, and also subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell because I have a lot on this channel for everyone. Okay, like and subscribe. So let's jump right into action. So in order to create something like this, you first need to have your content. You need to have the data that you want to use to create your chat. Okay, so let's say you have members of your organization. You know the hierarchy. That you have within your organization and you want to use that to create the organizational chart so let me say i want to create a new chart so i'll go down here and add a new slide so this is a new slide and i want to create my chart over here i just want to give the name the title of this chart so i can just go ahead and then copy this okay i i just want to be a bit lazy so i'll just copy this and then my new chart i'll just give the title to that okay i'll just paste this as my title and then i'll make sure i center align this okay so i want to display my chart over here and i want to use this for my chart so in order to do that all you have to do is to copy the details you want to use to create your chart in this case these are the details i'll just select everything you can cut or copy in my case i want to copy and then go to the page where you want to include your chart okay so this one include my chart just go to the insert tab and then you go towards smart art okay just click on smart art and then it's going to open this dialog box for you and we want to create organizational chart organogram so we go to hierarchy click on hierarchy and there are several option other hierarchy options available and let's go for the simple one okay that's organizational chart there are different different ones over here you can move your cursor around them and see how it will look like but i just want to go with the first one and then i'll click on i'll select it and click on ok so it's going to display my chart for me this way which don't worry about that we can just go ahead and do editing so with the name we've copied we remember we copied this name that is what we're going to use to create our chart over here we don't need to we don't need to type these names you can go ahead and type this name one by one but that is going to be a waste of time so we're going to use a special way to do this so just select on the chart and then you can see it to display type your text here so that is where we want to paste everything so just select everything or just control a to highlight everything and then you can just go and then click on or paste okay since we've copied this just go ahead and then paste everything you can see what is happening so it's going to paste everything into this chart for you, you don't need to what type everything one by one and then we can now go and then do the hierarchy how we want to order them so if let's assume i want timothy is the top manager is the president of the organization then maybe you want you and then seram and you to be sub or deputy under timothy then we have to select the first two hit the tab key and then it's going to order it this way hit the tab key and then we also need to specify the rest where they will be so maybe the rest of these members we want to put two we want to put two under serum and then two under few so we can just go ahead and copy this i'll just cut this and then i'll go under serum and then paste that over there once that is pasted i'll select the two again press the tab key to order this okay and then we have the rest left the last two i want the last two to be under two so you have that highlighted as well hit the tab key on your keyboard and it's going to order it this way we want to move it one bit because it's going to be a sub members under our two so hit that and you can see it's going to order everything this way for you once everything is set this way your members and everything you are okay with the hierarchy and there's going to be another tab called design click on the design and this is where you can switch between the design how you want your chart to look like so you can change the look of your chart from here you can see there are several ways you can change your chart you can see there are different ways you can modify this chart and if you want to change the theme of this particular design you can go to just design and you can change the look of this so when i click on this and then i go to design i'm going to get other designs over here to do modification to my chart you can see we have several charts 
and you can do modification to that we have the format as well so there's a lot you can do by once you add that and if you want to change your chart as well you can just go ahead and select a different chart so you can see i have different chart over here where we have the layout you can easily change the layout of your chart if the design anything you want to change at any time you'll be able to do that as well so you can see how this chart is looking there are several options that you can try and see how amazing this is going to look so this is a simple way to create an organizational chart using powerpoint so remember to like and subscribe because i have a lot of amazing tutorials coming up on this channel and you're really going to enjoy that i'll show you how to do amazing stuff using powerpoint and microsoft office suits and there's so amazing things coming and remember to like subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials so like come your way again bye bye